Hello everyone and welcome to the next section of the realistic drawing guide. In this one we are going to start working into the drawing, looking more in depth at how to start laying down some realistic qualities that involve things like light and shadow and also various turns that we're going to have to produce. So here we are, in the last one we created the grid and also created our outlines from our reference image of Will Smith and now that all the proportions are pretty much planned out we will take it further and start working into some areas of the face. Now I quickly just want to point out that everyone has their own working process that suits them and that they are comfortable with and that's something you'll eventually develop the more you draw. So my process usually is to start rendering and working into individual areas separately and sort of work my way around the drawing. So usually I start with the eyes and I think once you have drawn in the eyes you can work onwards from that point. On this reference image we have a lot of dark areas and shadows but then we also have lighter areas so it does make more sense to work with the lighter areas first and then we can always make them darker if we have to. But how I'm going to start here is just by working into one of the eyes and I usually start by laying down those really solid outlines, mainly the darker areas around the pupil and even some of the eyebrow above it. Now it's a bit of a commitment going straight into creating more solid outlines and shading right away but you slowly start to get an idea of the different turns and if we already have the darker areas down then we can work off those as well. So right now I'm studying our reference image and still even using the grid. Our drawing is the same size as the reference so that makes it a lot easier because we are just replicating areas. So here I'm slowly trying to form the shape of the eye. I'm using more of a soft pencil to get those darker marks. It's really essential that you keep looking back and forth from your reference image and really take your time placing down your pencil marks exactly as it looks in the image. We have created really accurate outlines already so things will look like they should anyways and it's just a matter of creating texture and starting to work into it. I've decided to call this section shadow, light and turns because we are basically making different turns in regards to the lighter and darker areas. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. One thing you need to remember is to observe what you are drawing and always take your time. Okay so now I have more of this eye drawn here and I did all of this up to this point with a 2B pencil. Now I'm going to take a sharper, maybe a 5B and you have to make sure that it's really sharp because I'm going to start with one of the eyebrows. This is more or less repeating the same process by looking at the reference image and very carefully seeing whereabouts on the grid each individual hair is placed. And yes a lot of the time to get the best result you have to draw each hair separately until we get further into the eyebrow where it slowly fades into solid black but the shape still remains. So here we go, we have drawn the eyebrow and now we have pretty much got the whole eye and the eyebrow area worked into. I'm going to repeat the same process on the opposite side of the face, except this time there is more of a shadow to take note of, and this eyebrow is more of a solid area, so I'm going to do the same and just fade the lines into each other to create that shape. So over on this eye you can see that the shadow comes into it and it is casted under this shadow that goes all the way down the side of the face. Now I'm going to draw the start of that on the eye but not fully start laying down that shadow yet.
Okay, here we go. We have both the eyes drawn in and now I'm going to start working into this section with different pencils and create some realistic tones. Now I'm going to start off with maybe a light 2H pencil so I know I'm not going to get any dark pencil marks and in this area around his eyes it's naturally quite light anyways. What we do have is we have small gradients of tones where I can change pencils to a softer size and to start trying to fade into it and create those areas with more shadow. Also in some places we have a bit of a skin texture but don't worry too much about that yet, just work into it really lightly because we can come back to that later. So we have created some pretty realistic looking eyes here and now it's a similar process that I'm going to use to work into the nose and the lips. Again starting with the darker shadow areas, there is a lot of shadow under the nose so I'll draw that in and then take a lighter pencil for the rest. I've worked into the lips as well in a similar way but lips tend to have a texture to them so I've really just created the darker areas and left most of that for later. So I'm going to end this video here because in the next section I'll start looking at the bigger picture that is creating the skin tones and blending different gradients. These episodes could be a lot longer but I like to try and keep them to the point and also I think it's a lot more convenient to have the drawing process separated into these individual sections. But as always I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.